Welcome back. Now in this lecture we are going to look at validation and validation rules. And validation is basically to check the input submitted by the user. And that's exactly what you're going to do on this form because currently we don't have any validation or validation rules yet. This means a user can enter anything or change to anything they feel like. So we are going to limit this by using some of the validation rules available in Laravel because Laravel provides those validation rules for every data that you want to validate. For example, you can put a limit to the number or the number of characters a user can enter as their name. And there's a validation rule that is available for that. So let's go to the profile controller. So it's not good practice to put your validation logic into a controller class. But for now, you just want to do that we are going to use a form request but that one we're going to do it later so here i'm going to use the validate method so validation rules request validate and we're going to start with the name And the name will have a validation rule, which is called required. So this means this for, uh, this field will not be left blank. So it must be required. And you can use as many validation rules you feel like by separating those validation rules with a pipe operator. So let's say we want to limit the number of characters on this name to six. We have a validation for that, which is I'm going to use main and then the value I want to limit to, which is six. I can also use another validation rule. And this time it should be a string. Another validation rule, max, I just want 255. Let's do the same for the email. So the email also is required field. And it should be an email and it should be a string and max 255 and that's it make sure you save so let's see now let's go to the form so I'm going to enter a name which has only five characters Malbo updates and as you can see, that validation has failed. So once that validation fails, the Laravel will automatically redirect the user back to the previous location and displaying the validation errors. So as you can see, that one has failed. And if that validation passes, then the controller will be able to continue with that request. So let's try now with a name which has more than six characters. So Malboro. Malboro Barak update and as you can see that request has passed and it has been able now to save back to the database and all these validation rules are available in Laravel documentation let me show you so you go to laravel.com we have this the basics and then validation so if you click here, you'll see available validation rules. And I've said Laravel has a variety of these validation rules for every data that you want to validate, including the images, time zone, dates, like the one you have used right now is this one, main. And it says the field and the validation must have a minimum value. Strings, numerics, arrays, and field files are evaluated in the same fashion as the size rule. So the size rule that is the field and the validation must have a size matching the given value. For string data, value corresponds to the number of characters. For numeric data, value corresponds to a given integer value. For an array, size corresponds to the count of the array. For files, size corresponds to the file size in the kilobytes. So we have another validation rule which I've also used. It's called required and it's also available here, required. And it says the required the field and the validation must be present in the input data and not empty. 
So a field is considered empty if one of the following conditions are true. If the value is null, if the value is empty, or an empty string, the value of an empty array or empty countable object, and the value is an uploaded file with no path. So you can go through some of these validation rules depending on the data that you want to validate. So they're all here. So in the next lecture, we'll look at how we can display the validation errors once that validation fails.